Hello everybody, this is uh, Finnowin here, and uh, today I'll be playing a game called The Crooked Man. Uh, this was uh, released on Steam January 16th this year, so fairly new. Um, the developer of this is uh, Yuri Games. Uh, as far as I know, this is their first game that they've uh, put out. Um, they do plan on putting out more future games, uh, part of a series called The Strange Man series. Uh, the second installment is going to be The Sandman, the third one is going to be The Boogeyman, and the fourth one, as far as I know, is going to be The Hangman. Now, these should be coming out fairly soon, as far as I know. The release dates tend to be in January and February, uh, as far as I see on Steam. Uh, the publisher is AGM Playism. Uh, they've been they've published uh, all sorts of uh, little games like this little indie games uh, one I'm uh, vividly familiar with is uh, bad father so um, Definitely give this game a check out you know check it out play it um, if you're into uh, horror psychological horror and all that um, so I mean with that said there as far as I uh, can anticipate there is going to be some scary stuff in here based on the tags to what extent um, just whatever I've seen on Steam. Uh, so, um, other than that, so let's get to the show in the room. Uh, so, I like to have my trusty little notepad and pencil just uh, in case. Because for every horror game, for every strategy game, um, it tends to be some types of puzzles to them. So, let's start this beauty. Alright, let's get my mouse out of the way. I may or may not be using this mouse. This is a horror game and it contains scarce and grotesque content, so refrain from playing it if you feel you can't handle it. Uh, please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. So on their website, the author warns. No repurposing of resources. Uh, no redistribution of the game files. Do not cut the end credits from videos of the game. Check the author's site for more information. Acknowledge that the author takes no responsibility or any trouble caused by the use of this software. Um, so... Let's uh, keep that in mind. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Oh, I like that. Even with the little music with it, too. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be my first time voice acting. Um, as far as I know uh, from the Steam, uh, David is supposed to be the main character of this uh, series. So, um, as far as David, I'm just going to use my uh, natural voice. For these other people, I'm just going to make up some crazy sporadic voices and they may change. So, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, Paul. <clears throat> Woo, finally, things look tidy here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And uh, thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. So, friends, you know, helping you uh, move stuff in. So, uh, you know, let's, let's check out the place. An old TV, tissues in case you guys sneeze, a phone, to, you know, have people call you and telemarketers. Good old crack in the wall, you know, you gotta have one of those. Cupboards, you know, gotta be trying to wear refrigerator. So like, huh? Geez, Paul forgot his license. I should be here for. I should get it to him if he's still around. Who, who forgets their license? That's pretty crucial. Like, you know, if you're driving without a license, that's a pretty bad uh, fence right there. So, I mean, it looks like a small one-bedroom flat, I guess you would call it. Or it's just like you have your bed here. Well, I guess there's got to be more since there's no bathroom in there. So, you know, like a little, uh... Like a little office. 
I was gonna say the music stopped for a second. It's like already? Like so you're in your typical bathroom. Alright. So you know, let's get this license to him before he leaves. It's pretty crucial. Hmm? What's with this place seriously? If it's question mark, I'm gonna do my natural voice too. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear. Oh, so is this his... Are those his friends outside talking? Look, what can I do? He's not the right richest guy, you know, and not many places come with furniture. So they didn't really move much, then. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complain to me now. You're right, I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. The license can wait, I guess. Bear gets a <laughs> Are you sure about that? I mean, I guess... I don't know... No reason to go... I mean, he should have his license if he's gonna be driving. Sounds like the phone. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in a new place. Um, so I'm guessing, let's see, like this guy is history is slowly or I guess quickly unraveling in front of us must have had a bad time sometime in the past man I'm tired in all sorts of ways all right sounds like someone's sobbing oh really is that somebody crying I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Right, so I guess I'm leaving the place. Alright, so I'm 204. Alright, so... Wait, did I say there's no one? Like, it looks to be empty. Okay. So... Doesn't seem like it's none of my immediate neighbors. Am I on a floor by myself? I'm hearing a random voice crying. Two of one. Yes? Who is it? At this hour? Pardon me. It's just, uh, I can hear you from my room, even if it's making it hard to sleep. you're saying? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy moving to a four, right? There's no way you hear me from there. Uh, I, I guess so. So sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever, I better get back to sleep. So we have a mysterious voice. We have like no neighbors except for one lady, as far as I know. I mean, I would imagine a man would have came out and be like, "What are you doing this way?" And the wife's like, "Just leave him alone. He's just, just a strange neighbor." That sounds like water. The water. The faucet busted? Hmm. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Well, I hope it's Paul just trying to prank me. Shoot. So 
Now let's look under the bed. Well, let me just interact with the bed. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm. Found something. Found a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. So, mysterious note. Sounds like the man's crying again. That sound still? Where is it coming from? Give me a break, I need to sleep. Oh, that sounds like the phone. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, no I didn't mean just... I'm, I'm busy with work, so... Yeah, so I'll, I'll come visit today. Uh, tell her that for me, okay? Bye. Man, I slept in the... T I slept in t to noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. So, we got, like, uh... Friends are concerned. We have... Him thinking Shirley called that one time. Now he's sleeping in until noon. So, like, what am I doing now? Like, what is this guy's backstory? Okay, so, am I going somewhere? Hello. Paul? What is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yes, this, uh, sorry. I was going to bring it to you, but... Woo, thanks. So, you're going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Uh, oh, yeah, D Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of pranks your kid do you take me for, David? Uh, sorry, uh, I didn't mean it like that. Um, anyway, I'm off. So, maybe it wasn't Paul? Did like a weird shimmy there. What did that say? No need to go in here. Okay, so. I know you're there. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I never explored if I have an inventory or anything, so I'm gonna do a. David Hoover. So that's hitting X right there. Hold on. Okay, so I can revisit stuff with my inventory. That's interesting. Sorry, just taking a quick second here to... So X is going to be... That. Maybe I have hotkeys. Maybe not quite yet. So am I going all the way to the end here? Okay, so my mom's in the hospital. Mom? It's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy. You've certainly grown. Well, my name's not Timmy. Good. You look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off and I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop too, so when you get better we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me. Maybe I could come visit you sometime? You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best, I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. 
I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh. Who would you be? Why are you here? How'd you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who, who are you? Say something, will you? Um. Ooh. Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Jeez. This is Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. I understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom! Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. David, please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom? David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Oh man, bring the sedatives. Um. Man. Well, I think um, I'm gonna leave it here for right now. But um, what do y'all think about this? Uh, it's definitely a good start as far as the story goes so far. Uh, but we'd definitely like to hear some feedback. So uh. Comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.